Hey guys, Darth Vader Halloween here. And here is my entire prop collection, animated prop collection for 2020. Sadly, I was not able to get the jumping spider this year. So yeah, that sucks. And it's a little late now since actually the jumping spider is out of stock on Spirit Halloween's website. Which I'm not, I'm not, I'm not actually sad about that. And the reason because is because I know that he will be returning because the jumping spider is a classic prop. He's been he's been sold ever since 2011. Uh, if he does get sold out, which in this case he did, um, he will return because he's one of the most popular animatronics that was ever sold by Spirit Halloween. So I have reason to believe that he will return. So yeah, I got all my props set up. I got the flying ghost set up. I just got him set up. And then I also have the Big Lots Pumpkin Groundbreaker that I got for my birthday this year. And um, I'm not really sure where to correct, where to correcticize, to categorize him in this whole thing. I don't know if he's a tabletop or a life size. I know for sure he's not a life size, but I'm also not really considering him as a tabletop. Uh, so, but I'm still going to be including him in my animated prop collection. So, yeah, I got everything set up here. I got the Creepy Caretaker right over there. And I got uh, Guardian of the Grave. And then I got John Doe here. I got the Flying Ghost. I don't know why I almost forgot what he was called. Flying Ghost here, Deadlift. And then I have the Pumpkin Groundbreaker. I also have all the boxes for my animatronics there. But the Pumpkin Groundbreaker did not come in a box. But he did come with a tag which is right here. This is what the tag looks like for the Pumpkin Groundbreaker. Nothing special. <sighs> so, yeah. And also, I, uh, have, I have three out of all my animatronics running on a multi-prop remote that can do up to four. Why am I not doing up to four? Well, it's because only three of my animatronics actually work for the remote. Uh, this... The remote works for any and all animatronics that have a try me or foot pad function. But the thing is, John Doe, John Doe has a foot pad and try me function. However, it is a harness and not a port. The transponders for the remote are a port, as, as I'm about to show you right here. They are a port. And you can't plug a port. It... Well, I guess I just activated uh, deadlift just from plugging it in. Well, I guess you can al I guess you can also activate the prop by just plugging the transponder into it. There's a little fact for you there. So yeah, I uh, can't use it for the uh, Flying Ghost because there aren't any ports or anything to it. I also can't use it for the Big Lots Pumpkin Groundbreaker because there aren't any... There aren't any ports. So, yeah. Got three out of all six of my animatronics running on the remote. And I'm going to go ahead and start the... I'm going to go ahead and start the collection video because I've been talking for more than three and a half minutes. So let's go ahead and get into it. So, we are going to start out with the very first animatronic I ever got. The very first life-size that actually started it all. I can't believe it went from Creepy Caretaker to all of this. Uh, and my collection will grow. I promise you, it will grow. Now, this is the 2018 version of the Creepy Caretaker. My very first video that I ever did of it was in 2018 when I first got it at Party City. This was sold at Party City and Halloween City, both the same thing, but that doesn't matter. Uh, well, I mean, you know. Uh, yeah, this was sold at Halloween City and Party City in 2018 and 2019, uh, but, it w but it was also sold at many other places during 2019 and 2020. There are a few differences between the 2019, 2021, and the 2018, but they're, they're, so, f they're, they're so minor that you don't even tell the difference. But, yeah. Um, now this time, with every prop that I have, I'm going to do a demo of it in regular lighting, and I'm also going to do a demo of it in the dark, 
And this time it's actually going to be in the dark because I'm filming this at 6 o'clock right now. And since daylight savings time has ended, the sun's going down sooner than what I wanted to. But anyways, yeah. Uh, I'm going to actually do a prop. I'm going to do a demo of each prop in the dark. And yeah. So the Creepy Caretaker is definitely one of my favorites that I have in my collection. I really like the, actually, the uniqueness of him. Um, this was made by Techie Toys along with uh, John Doe, Guardian of the Grave, and The Flying Ghost. And this is one of the most unique props that was made by them. This was originally first sold in 2011. I think, yeah, 2011 until 2014 at Spirit Halloween. And uh, I believe it was also sold in 2010, but it, I think it was online only. I don't know. I'll have to check. Let me know in the comments if it's true or not that it was sold in 2010, but online only. Um, first off, what I really like is the design of the face. The design of the face is really well. And also, I like that the hood is posable. So yeah, there's a wire in the hood. You can pose it to your liking. The arm is also posable, although when it comes when it comes in the box, the arm is like right up against the neck and chin right over there. And also, one of the things that I really like about the Creepy Caretaker is the tombstone design. I like the tombstone design of it. It's really nice, and unique, and uh, yeah, there's cloth. Now, the cloth is like a creepy cloth material, fabric material on the just all around the all around the creepy caretaker and also uh, one of the other cool feature features that I like about the creepy caretaker is that there's actually three LED or three blue LED bulbs in the tombstone so that once it activates the LED bulbs will shine on its face so that he is more visible in the dark. That way, the only thing you'll see is not only its eyes, but also its entire body as well. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and reset it, and then I will activate them for you guys in regular lighting and also in the dark. So, here we go. So yeah, that's the Creepy Caretaker, definitely one of my favorites out of the whole collection. And now, let's go ahead and demo him in the dark. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move on to the Guardian of the Grave. Now, the Guardian of the Grave, I ended up getting at Get Cool Stuff in uh, GetCoolStuff.com in 2019. He is still available, so if you want to go ahead and check him out and check it out, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to if you want to get him yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and take the cloth off cloth off of the face so that you can see what his face actually looks like. Um, but yeah. That is what his face looks like. He has two LED bulbs and the eyes right there. And actually, one of my favorite uh, things that one one of my favorite things about the Guardian of the Grave is that uh, there's a fog hose 
from his mouth going all the way down to there, which you can actually hook up to a fog machine so that once he activates, fog will blow out of his mouth. That's a really cool and unique feature that I like about the Garden of the Grave. And um, I really love his simplistic yet creepy design. Um, there's really, really the only thing that's animated about him is his rising up and down mechanism. That, that's it. No moving mouth, nothing. But yet he's still pretty frickin' creepy. <laughs> um, but yeah, one of my other really cool things that I like about the Guardian of the Grave is his tombstone design. His tombstone design is pretty cool. I like the three skulls stacked up on there. I'm not really sure where all those white markings came from. Uh, but yeah, and then they have, there is, there are hands on the tombstone. However, this is meant to create an optical illusion to make it look like the Guardian of the Grave is holding onto the tombstone to make it look like there's actually arms from the sleeves, but actually the hands are already a part of the tombstone and the sleeves are just sleeves. That's it. There's a, there's a little Velcro strip uh, in the sleeve right here that attaches to the Velcro strip on the hand. That goes for each, that goes for each arm there. And yeah, like that little optical illusion effect. I did the same thing with the creepy caretaker over there. Um, I'm not really sure what this guy is supposed to, I mean, I know he's a reaper, but he kind of looks like a, like a zombie reaper kind of thing. I don't know. That, that's just one of the things that I really love about his face, about his face design. It's really cool. Um, Anyways, let's go ahead and demo him. I'm going to demo him, as always, in regular lighting, and then also I will, demo, I will demo him in the dark. But in the dark, there's not really much to see since um, all you'll be seeing is just his LED lights, LED bulbs flashing in the eyes. Yeah, that's really all, there, that, that's really all you're going to be seeing in the dark. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and demo him. So yeah, there's the Garden of the Grave, one of my an, another one of my favorites. Really, all really every one in my collection is my favorite. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the next prop. So now we have John Doe, which was released in 2011 and is still being sold today. However, uh, the newer models do not have blood on the sheet. However, the newer models do have light up eyes, which I think is a pretty cool feature. Um, Currently, I do not have him, or well, not currently, I will not ever have him on the proper mount since he does not have a trimy jack or port, but he does have a trimy harness. So right now, I just have him on his included step pad that was in the box when I when I received him from eBay. Now, in 2017, another um, version kind of of this was released in at Spirit Halloween. However, it was made by a different company. I forgot. I think it was called New Ray Sun. But yeah, that, that was the I think that was the name of the company. The the newer version was called Toe Tagged Corpse, which was kind of which was pretty cool actually. Uh, I like Toe Tagged I, I, I like Toe Tagged Corpse. However, I kind of considered him a knockoff since he was made by a different company company. <laughs> he was made by a different company, and um, 
the main feature of the Toted corpse was that you could change him from either a human or an alien. He came with two different sheets. He came with uh, the regular white sheet, but it did not have any blood. And then he also came from, and then he also came with a orange sheet that had the quarantine symbol on it. Uh, I liked, I, I really liked the concept of the alien version. However, um, I don't think I really liked the human ver uh, the human version of the Toad Tad corpse, mainly because uh, just it, it's the breathing sound effects. Uh, the breathing sound effects didn't really sound as creepy as they did on the on John Doe because on John Doe, the breathing ca the breathing came from a heavy uh, from a deeper voice, so the breathing kind of the the heavy breathing sounded a little bit creepier. And also with John Doe, the breathing also had background music, which was pretty eerie. Uh, Toe-tagged corpse did not have any background music to go along with the breathing. So, um, I mean, I liked the concept of Toe-tagged corpse, although I think John Doe is a little better. He's a classic, and he's really nostalgic to me, because I remember seeing him in 2011 when I went to Spirit Halloween. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and demo him. Now, I'm not going to demo him in the dark because he doesn't have any lighting, so you're not going to be able to see anything in the dark. And one thing that I pointed out in my review of this guy is that John Doe actually does have a face underneath the sheet. Uh, it's just a clear plastic mold, and it's the same mold as they did for Resurrection Mary back in 2010. Actually, I'll go ahead and show you right now. Yeah, there is John Doe's face. Nothing really all that special. Uh, excuse that noise. That was my phone. Um, but yeah, nothing really all that special. Just the same plastic head mold as Resurrection Mary. And I noticed that there is some, like, red on the face, which I don't know if that was... And I don't know if that was intentional, or if the paint from the blood on the sheet, leaked through the sheet, and ended up on the face. That's That may have been what happened. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and demo him for you guys real quick. So yeah, that was John Doe, and uh, another one, another small feature that I forgot to point out is that actually uh, the toe tag on John Doe's foot is customizable. Uh, I don't know if you can see that real quick. Uh, hang on. But yeah, the toe tag on his foot is customizable. So you got name of deceased. You could put any name on there. You could put the name of the person that you don't like on there. Uh, so you got name of deceased, date of death, cause of death. So yeah, you can be creative on there. And yeah, that was John Doe. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next prop in my collection. So now we have good old deadlift zombie. Um... Now this time his LED bulbs are working. Uh, I know in my review, when I did my review of this guy, his LED bulbs and the eyes weren't working. But I ended up uh, shipping him over to Legendary Innovations, which they fixed him up for me. Now in the email, uh, I just want you to guess how much it costed. Just guess. You're probably thinking maybe 50, 100 bucks. You're wrong. It was $15. Yeah, it was $15 to fix him up 
And now, in the email, it said not only just to replace the LED bulbs, but it also said to, quote-unquote, fully restore the deadlift zombie. So they did all of that for just 15 bucks, which really amazes me. That really makes me want to say, uh, if you have a broken prop, go over to go, go over to Legendary Innovations. They'll fix it right up for you. Uh, I'm, I'm sure they'll do it for a cheap price. Now, um, I'm not a part of Legendary Innovations or anything, but I just want to promote their business. And, uh, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get started on him. So... One thing that I really, really love about him is the detail. It puts so much detail onto this. Now, this was made by YJ. Uh, this was made by YJ, by the way. YJ, <laughs> the way I said it. Why? This was made by YJ in 2009, sold at Spirit Halloween in 2009. It was a Spirit exclusive, which adds to the rarity because uh, now it's pretty, pretty hard to find. Uh, I only found this once on eBay. Never again. I never saw him at all again on eBay. Uh, he may pop up again, who knows, but yeah, this guy is pretty rare. And in the box, he came with his with his step pad, which actually doesn't really work anymore. I used it in the unboxing video, but it only worked once, and that was it. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it only worked once, and that was it. And so, yeah, I'm not really using the step pad for him. I am using the prop remote like I did with the Guardian of the Grave and the Creepy Caretaker. And yeah, he came with this like rope mat, which I'm guessing is supposed to be dead grass, fake dead grass. And which, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that they added that to go along with him, which was pretty cool. And they added a ton of fake blood to his suit. They added all that fake blood onto his suit. I like all the detail that they added on the face. All the wrinkles on the face, the scab marks, all of that stuff. And uh, I got the rips in the in the tuck in the in the suit right there. And also one thing that I noticed is that his hands, these two fingers, his middle finger and his ring finger, are posable. So yeah, I found that really interesting. I'm not really sure why they made them posable, but I guess it's a neat little feature. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and demo him, and I'll demo him in regular lighting and also in the dark, but in the dark, really all you'll see is just his LED bulbs for the eyes, which uh, doesn't matter. He's still pretty creepy. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and activate him. His arm's a little bit messed up there. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. All right, arm has now been fixed. Now let's go ahead and demo him in the dark. Okay, so that is the deadlift zombie. Now, I really wish that they made more props like him. I wish they would bring him back to Spear Halloween someday. Well, someday. Hopefully it'll happen. I know, I did the, I know they did a flashback Friday thing this year, and hopefully next year they're, they're do, they're, ooh, can't talk. Hopefully next year they're, they're gonna do something like that again. Uh, hopefully they'll bring this guy back, cause deadlift is awesome. <laughs> He, he really is. Definitely, definitely worth it. And uh, anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the next prop. So now we have the large flying ghost made by Tucky Toys. Now, um, this was originally made in 2004. So this is a very old animatronic. It's still being sold. Uh, th this time it was sold at Big Lots for this year. It was sold... Big Lots, here's the box for the Flying Ghost, there's the Techie logo in case you forgot what it looks like. 
there's the big lots t uh, thing right there so yeah there's the flying ghost box scary flying ghost now actually uh, my opa got this for me in case you don't know what the word opa means it's actually German for grandpa okay so now in case you're wondering why this is moving, well, I got, I got the ceiling fan on. Anyways, yeah, uh, Opa is German for Grandpa. There's a little German lesson there for you. <laughs> um, now, the flying ghost flies on this cord that is about, uh, I forgot how long it is, but it's pretty long. Uh, that's one end of the cord. I got it on a hook on the wall. And, it's, and there's the other end of the hook. And there's the thing right here that it will hit once it goes over here. And then it'll hit, it'll hit that, and then it'll turn around and then go the opposite direction. See so yeah, that's what the flying ghost does. And also the arms are posable. So you can pose them any which way that you want. And let's go ahead and demo him. I'm not going to do a demo in the dark since... Like John Doe, he doesn't have any lighting, so you're not going to see anything if I demo him in the dark. So let's go ahead and activate him. So yeah, there's the Flying Ghost, my fifth animatronic in my collection, one of my favorites. And um, now we're going to go ahead and move on to our sixth and last but not least prop, the Big Lots Pumpkin Groundbreaker. I don't know why, but every single time that I try to think of him, I end up almost forgetting his name. <laughs> I don't know why, but... You know, that happens. <laughs> Alright, so here's the Pumpkin Groundbreaker. I ended up, I actually got this guy for my birthday this year from Big Lots. He was sold at Big Lots. Um, here's the tag, which I already showed you in the beginning of the video, but who cares? I'm going to show it to you again. <laughs> so yeah, here's the tag. 20 inch sound activated sensor flashing lights and then here's the back of the tag there's the fine print nobody cares about that and yeah let's go ahead and get started with the detail now i really like the detail of this guy i like that they put all sorts of creepy cloth everywhere on him i like the detail of his face really detailed and now his his stem isn't uh, his stem is the same color as his head which really doesn't matter all the extra detail takes completely takes that away and then there are his hands, and this was made by Sunstar, just in, uh, by the way. This was made by Sunstar, and the arms, the arms are actually posable, so you can pose them any which way that you want. I just have them posed like, like how they originally were, but yeah, I just, originally the arms are like posed like that when you find them in the store, but, so yeah, like they're right up against its face, but I just posed them like this because it looks cool. And uh, there are three LED bulbs in there. You cannot see them. Hang on. There are three LED bulbs. I, I still don't think you can see that. But uh, anyways, there are three. There are three LED bulbs in the head. That uh, one of them is, or two of them are green, and then one of them yeah, yeah, is red. Those will flash once you activate it. And, um, yeah, let's go ahead and demo him.
activate him one more time since he was rudely interrupted by the flying ghost. So, let's go ahead. He got interrupted again by John Doe, which honestly it doesn't matter. I already have a demo of him in the. I already have a demo video of him, so if you want to go and check that out, go ahead. Uh, so yeah, that's the pumpkin groundbreaker, and these are all of my animatronics that I have collected. Uh, I'm so, I'm sorry that this video has gotten over to uh, up to a half an hour. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I I ended up doing some like mini reviews on each prop as I went uh, as I went over them. So that's probably what made the video so long. But anyways, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm probably going to activate them all at the same time just for an ending to the video just cuz hey, why not? <laughs> so yeah, and all of them have a sound activation sensor, so I'll be able to do that. So, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, there's my entire prop collection for the year, guys. <laughs> See you guys in the next video. See you later.